हाय गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द फेरस वी आर मीटर दैट इज द पाकर किटीवेक मीटर दिस इज टू चेक द दिस इज एक्चुअली द स्क्रेप डाउन एनालिसिस और स्क्रेप डाउन टेस्ट फॉर द स्कैवेंज ऑयल तो स्कैवेंज ड्रेन ऑयल वी हैव टू चेक सो बाय दिस मीटर वी कैन चेक द फेरस वियर दैट इज द आयरन कॉन्टेंट सो टू चेक You can see here it is showing zero ppm and it is indicating to put the uh, vial or the tube. So before that we have to first check uh, and calibrate it whether it's correct or not. So we have to randomly check. Okay, this uh, sample is for one sixty to two forty five ppm. So let's check whether the meter is working good or not. So I put it. Now it indicates to take it out. Okay, I take it out. So it is around two sixty. Again, I'll check. Okay, it is two one five. So the meter is showing correct. It is two one five, and uh, it is within the within the range of one sixty two two forty five. So our meter is working good, guys. You might be thinking that how does it senses a ferrous wear? So there is a laser inside the cavity. So you can see here. This laser keeps on checking how much is the iron content. So this is a science behind the ferrous meter meter. So isn't it nice? So this laser keeps on checking how much is the ferrous meter content. So our units is tested. So I have taken the sample for all the six units of the main engine. You can see here I filled all the six vials. So I will check one by one. For each uh, unit, for example, let's check for the number one unit, uh, main engine scavenge oil. So I will I, now I am going to put inside it. So I put it here. Okay. Now it indicates to take out. Okay, I take out. So this shows 20 ppm. So that means the iron content, the ferrous wear for the number one unit on the main engine is for uh, main engine is. 20 ppm so it is in the range similarly we have to check for other units also so by 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 you can check and after this we have to discard our uh, tubes and we have to reuse the samples so uh, this is the meter and uh, i hope you understood how to take the readings of the ferrous wear this is the booklet and uh, actually we have to uh, to measure it let's simply check and uh, we have to keep the uh, tube clean and this should not be dirty and fill up to the top keeping 5 mm mm clear shake the tube properly so that all the ferrous wear settles down now uh, we have to put it and we have to blind the bottom of the tube with a sticker which is provided along with the kit so here i was not having the uh, sticker so i use and then you have to put it and then you can easily measure how much is the ferrous content i hope guys you understood and thank you so much for your time take care you can see here the person is taking the sample from the scavenge drain the cork is being opened and then the sample is being taken like this make sure you close the wall the scavenge drain wall for sufficient period of time and then afterwards you open the sample wall and it will be collected like this in the sample bottles so guys this is the website for the parker kitty wake and uh, without wasting the time we will directly move towards the performing of the ferrous wear meter so before we go to the procedure we understand what is a meter looks like it is constructed using a sophisticated magnetometer adapted for the field applications a 5 mm test tube filled with the sample is placed directly in the hole in the instrument and its metallic content in ppm it is displayed on the screen in less than 2 seconds by taking the ferrous wear measurements over the time an increment in the wear levels can be monitored and appropriate actions taken to mitigate any damage so to perform a ferrous wear test each ferrous wear meter is supplied with three check standards to verify the product on a regular basis 
in the sample the 972 to 922 ppm ferrous content sample is being used you can see here okay this is the uh, sample your calibrating sample which we just saw in the video now the step one as per on the screen instructions insert the sample into the fwm for the approximately one second and then remove then the result will be displayed on the screen for comparison against the check standard so this 972 is the check standard next step two begin by agitating your oil sample for th approximately 30 seconds okay now fill a 5 millimeter test tube to within 5 millimeter of the top of your oil sample for each test we have to use a new test tube you can see here the new test tube and the dropper so we will fill it now step 3 insert the oil sample into the ferrous viewmeter for the approximately one second and then remove and then the result will be displayed shortly after the removal so this is how the parker kitty wake ferrous viewmeter works